I had to make a little film on how the pellet stove works. So the hopper holds a 40 foam bag of pellets. They're wood pellets. This is a little bit what the inside looks like. Down there, there's the auger. And that auger turns and pushes up the pellets into that section here. And ignites it automatically. I'll close it up and show how it works. Turn the thermostat up so it ignites. The auger inside turns and brings the pellets up into the ignition box. I don't use this for my main source of heat. I could if I wanted, but I just use it in real cold, cold weather or in the spring and fall when the temperatures are like 40 or 50, 60 degrees outside instead of firing up the big stove outside we'll use this this will burn if you keep her going pretty good you can burn a, a bag a day which is almost five dollars for four ninety five a bag but uh, it's an easy way, it's all thermostat controlled. When the temperature comes up, it shuts off and then it ignites automatically. It's starting to ignite. You <clears throat> see sparks fly every once in a while. You see they're starting to smoke in there now. Getting close to ignition. It's the only time the stove smokes is when it lights. If you looked out the chimney you'd see the smoke coming out. Otherwise when it's burning there's no smoke. Chimney stays clean. So the smoke is gone. There's a combustion blower in the back that blows air through the little vent holes.
when it gets up to temperature the hot air blower will kick on and the, through those holes the hot air comes out. I can feel the radiant heat right here now. There you have it. I'm going to turn the, it's going to be too warm in here, so I'll turn the thermostat down. And she'll keep burning now until the and blowing combustion air until the pellets are burnt out. The auger won't feed it anymore. Because it's not calling for heat with the thermostat shut down. <laughs>